Okay, welcome ladies and gentlemen. We are set to start and um, like we earlier informed everybody, we're not going to, um, we're not going to record this. It's a program that is aimed at helping you to make progress academically. If you can hear me, just type yes. Excellent. So you can hear me. So you can hear me, and um, that means we are good to go. We are not going to spend more than 20 minutes here at max 30 minutes. What I'm just going to show you is the fact that something exists and that you can take advantage of it to improve yourself academically, especially for those of you in the health that want to do some things in healthcare. And um, we have our level three students, mental health, public health, and caregivers. They are here. But in addition, we also have students from um, other institutions and people from everywhere. Please, if you are raising your hands, I will advise that you lower your hands so that we know when uh, you need to talk. I will call on you to raise your hand and talk. Please just lower your hands, please. Try to do that to help us. Please do that. Just lower your hands. It's giving us an impression that you want to ask questions, but uh, I think you don't want to ask questions. Probably just raise your hand. If you raise your hand, just lower it down, please. Okay, there are two institutions we are, we are focusing on. There are actually lots of institutions, but because we might not be able to take everything, we decided to focus on two, and that is Debbie University and Harvard University. Uh, for Harvard, uh, for Debbie University, we'll be showing you their courses that are available, and we'll be sending you the link for you to register. Please don't expect us to start doing the registration process for you and going through all that. No, what you need is, information, what you need is to know that this exists and that you can actually access it for free. And that's what we're going to do for you. And we'll send you the link. I will send a link here. Then I'll try also to send it to our viewers on YouTube. So you can copy the link and um, you can access the programs. It is totally free, you are not paying a dime. Yeah, you're not paying a dime. Uh, also for Harvard, we carefully mentioned healthcare courses because this program is um, made for mostly our students that are doing our healthcare programs. However, there are so many other programs you can do there. Please, if you can, if you can hear me, just type yes, please. So I think everybody can hear me. If you can't hear me, check your audio. Check your audio. Yeah, it should be from your end. Okay, so there are other programs you can run with Harvard University, MIT, uh, Cambridge, and so many other universities all over the world. Healthcare courses you can do with them, but we just decided to mention Harvard because we can list all the universities there. I will, will attempt to show you as many as possible, but like I also mentioned, it is your duty to go and register and do these courses with them. We also attempt to show you how to apply for the scholarship so that um, you can just pay 10% of what you're supposed to pay and do their programs. Before we go ahead, um, may I remind you that um, this program is brought to you free of charge by Laplace Metaverse. My name is Dr. Usaze Obaseki Osevegi. And I work with Laplace Metaverse. Our aim is to ensure that Africans have access to education as much as possible. We are possible free, and where it is being charged it should be charged minimal. The, the charges should be minimal such that people can easily afford it. Uh, we, we, we don't want to understand, we don't want to be part of the fact that education should be expensive. Yeah, everybody has the right to, to free education or to affordable education. And that's what we are pursuing here. So if you go to our Facebook page, 
at laplagemetaverse.com, I mean Laplage Metaverse, you will see a lot of testimonies, people getting certificates, people studying, getting information. We also run our courses in such a way that um, you don't necessarily need to pay to take our course. You can take a course for free, and most times you have the option of paying for the certificate or not paying. Yeah. So uh, I want to make, let you understand that we are here with a mission to ensure that everybody have access to education. And not just education, quality education, quality certificates, quality training. Okay, so let's move ahead now. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Um, I'm going to share my screen with you. Please, I can see questions like, do you have course, uh, programs in Canada? Uh, we don't, we don't promote other institutions program. Why we are sharing this is because of our students and we feel you, though you are not our student council benefit. And uh, so that you can add it up to whatever you are studying with us and broaden your horizon and broaden your, your, your profile and make your CV tick with all these courses. So please just relax as we move ahead. Please just do not type. I'm going to send you the link to um, the website so that you can register. So you don't need to bother yourself about that. So first of all, let me send you the link. First of all, send it to our viewers on YouTube. Okay. Okay, so if you're on YouTube, I just sent you the link now. Uh, I want you to grab it. I expect you to invite your friends, they should all join you. And um, I share the link with them, share the YouTube link with them, let them join and benefit from this. You can share this with your younger ones, your brothers, your sisters, your colleagues in the office, and everybody around you to help them. Okay, um, for those of you here on Zoom, let me share the link with you. Just a minute. Okay, I will sort that out later. So let's go back to the screen. This is, um, as you can see, this is a link. You can copy it out. 
For those of you on our WhatsApp classes, I'm going to send you the link. Let me just do that now. I'm going to send the link to you. Oh, okay. I think we are having some glitches here and there. No problem. Uh, so when you come to this site, you will find courses to do. It's very simple. debbieacuk slash short courses dash cpd slash online slash free courses slash. Yeah. You're going to find that. I'm having some challenge here sending this link. I'm not trying to. Um, do that. I want to believe you've gotten the link. Uh, so let's move ahead. So when you come to this link, just click on this link. One thing I need to let you understand is that each certificate you are getting here is CPD accredited. Yeah, it's CPD accredited and you can use it even in UK. You can use it from Nigeria here. You can use it to, to work anywhere. Yeah, as you can see, take for instance, let's take a bridging the dementia divide. This is a course you can actually do for free. Yes, I'm still telling you that it's free. It's a short courses. As you can see, the price is free. CPD, you have 12 hours of CPD here for free. Then self-guided learning and two hours per week for six weeks. Of course, it also depends on you. You can actually um, complete it in shorter time frame if you have the time. What they are trying to let you know is that you can do it within that span of time. So this is the information you will get as soon as you log in here to any of these courses. Yeah, and you can even have a video preview. Okay, this is your CPD logo. You can have it, you see it there on your certificates. And these are the topics you are going to learn. I'm just taking, uh, talking about the Dementia Divide program. So you have about um, six topics here and under each one, you can read up and learn more. So these are the course requirement. All of our free courses are delivered through an easy to use online learning platform, which you can enroll from any direction, then enroll them directly, sorry. What you will need, just your internet, and you can contact them and that's all. So if you've been doubting this, that it's not possible, now you know it's possible. As you can see, these are the list of courses that are available here. Dementia divide, bring your dementia divide, depression, a compassionate view, flexible learning toolkit, Nature connectedness for a new relationship with nature, organizational, culture, and personal centered approaches to care, patient centered care in diagnostic radiography and educational toolkit, preparing for undergraduate study, pressure also with prevention, recovering pathways, understanding autism, aspergia, and ADHD, writing and researching the political economy of inequality. So these are topics you can actually take for free and get certificates that has a CPD point, that has CPD points. Thank you very much. And that is that for Debbie University. I want to believe um, it was very clear, very straightforward and straight to the point. 
what I expect you to do is just have your pen and paper to write. Yes, that is what I expect you to do. So if you have any question, please feel free to ask. But um, as much as possible, we'll just keep it to one or two persons or three persons. If this is a very straightforward uh, thing. There's nothing to hide there. There's no middleman issue on this. So it's between you, your computer, and yourself. OK, Mr. Raymond, what's your question, please? Yes, Doc, we, we couldn't get the link on those of us on Zoom. We couldn't get a link, so if you can help us out. Okay, uh, just uh, hold on. I'm just trying to do this something. I'm just trying to sort out something here. I'll try and get that sorted out. Thank you. Yeah. Any other question, please? Philip Egu, over to you. You're already unmuted. I don't know how that happened. Philip Egu. Philip Egu. Okay. Uh, Joseph Mihaye. Dr. Joseph Mihaye. Yes, I, I had wanted to say that the link has been sent to the chat on the on the Zoom. Oh, so okay, really? Okay, okay yeah. Can get it. Yeah, okay. There. Thank you, thank, thank you. So I think since the link has been sent already, everybody can get it from there. Good. Fidelis Elie, Elie. Good evening, Doc. Uh, I want to ask, please, this um, course after we yeah, your this... your 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 voice is very faint. Okay, I'm asking about um, after I finish this course, is it only um, in London I'll be able to work or anywhere in the world? You see, that is a certificate you invest. In. That is a uh, university certificate you are seeing. I'm sure with your degree, you can you know you can work anywhere with your degree in the world. So that is okay. Debbie University certificate. So it means you can use it to work anywhere in the world. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Thank you. Well, so many hands, but I can't, I can't pick everybody. So um I'll just pick those people with videos. If I can, if you have your video on, I'll pick you. Aware Ogenevo. Everyone is beginning to own their video. Adebo Wale, please, I'm going to exit you from this program if you are not properly dressed. Yeah, okay. You can go ahead. You can unmute yourself. Yeah. Okay, sir. Yes. Yeah, my, yeah, my question is, uh, is there any special uh, qualification to attach to the university program? Like why I can all those ones, just in case of those who want to introduce. Yeah, it's like you are using your earpiece because it's, it's echoing where you are. No, I'm in the office. I'm using earpiece. I'm inside my office. Okay. If there's a special, uh, Registration process. Yes, registration process. If anything like why is attached to it, no, 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 no. nothing like that. Once you can understand English, that's all. It's okay. Yeah. Thank you. Yes, sir. And please, for those of you that that we want to log in, understand that once once you get to any website especially for the first time, you need to create an account. Some website will say just uh, sign up. Some will say register, they are all the same thing. But if you already have an account there, 
or you are going there for the second time or third time and you've created an account initially, just sign in and do your program. Okay. Uh, Justina Yankee. Unmute yourself, Justina. Hello. 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 Go ahead. Yeah. Good evening. Justina, go ahead. You raise your hands up. Yeah, good evening. Good evening. Yeah, please. I want to ask uh, with this program, I, I think I saw something. Uh, is, is there any certificates that will be given to like the participants, like those who will be taking part? Yes, if you do the course, you are going to get a certificate. And like I've told you, you're going to get a certificate with CPD points. I showed you that not too long. So when you go to the site, you will see it there. You're going to get a certificate. Oh, okay. University Direct, anyway. Oh, okay. Thank you. Margaret. Okay. Thank you. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Okay. So my question is, I saw you said healthcare. Does teaching, does it involve teaching or just healthcare? Well, um, for now, those are the courses that are available. Healthcare. Uh, those, those courses I just showed you are the ones available for now. All right. Thank you so much. Adeba Wale, now I can um, call you to, to ask a question. Thank you. Yes. Thank you. Uh, well, you have answered my question. They are all uh, medical related questions. I mean, yes. of each yes. other. So I'm open to have but, other. But, but I want to advise everybody here whether you are a teacher, a mechanic, okay. shoe shiner, or a professor in whatever field. Okay. No knowledge gained is ever wasted or lost. I mean, no time spent reading is wasted. I would advise you to do some of these courses, some of these health-related courses. You also can get information that can help you in your personal life at home with relations with your children. You can never tell. Probably the next job that will come face-to-face -to, -face to you or with you is one that is healthcare-related. And because you have the certificate, you have some level of knowledge they can consider you. After all, it's free, you're not paying anything. It's only your data and time you are spending. Mm -hmm. So I don't think there's anything wrong if you do them. Anyway, thank you. Joy. Um, well done, sir. I want yeah. to ask a, a certificate a prior to applying for these um, courses, like maybe someone who's already, it must already be a non before you can apply. No, somebody asked that question. Once you can read and write in English, that's all. You will have professors doing it. You have PhD holders doing it. You have master degree holders doing it. You have degree holders doing it. HND, OND, school sats. Anybody can do it. It's left for you. If you need it, fine. You can go ahead and do it. Thank you. Okay, maybe this is the last question. OBD Namwa Felicia. How much yourself, please? Okay. Hello. Yes. Yeah, I want to ask um, what about the courses in the Harvard? Because um, what was stated in the WhatsApp was for Debe and Debe University and um, Harvard University. So you just mentioned only the courses in the Derby University. So I want to know, I want to know the courses in the Harvard University. Thank you. I think after this, we'll go to that. And that's why we are rounding off this question session. Okay, sir. Thank you. Susan Eboegbe. Okay. Sorry, yeah. I just want to Good evening. Good evening. Yeah, we can't hear you. It's I, cracking. I want to ask about the 
the material, the right top, the right top, the material. Okay. Hello. Okay. Yeah, Hello. Yeah. Okay. Uh, the material, the material for it. How how can I get it? Once you log in, once you log in and sign in, you have everything to read there. I've not seen anything. I'm just seeing the, not, your video. You've, you, you've not signed in. I'm not the one I've teaching signed. the course. Okay. So when you sign okay. in with the when you sign in with the link, you can have all that for yourself. Okay, I'm on the video. Okay. Okay, for the last time, I think we'll just take Professor Olayemi. Hello, sir. Yeah, Hello, good sir. Evening. Good evening. Can you hear me, sir? Loud and clear, over. Okay, sir. Yes, I just want to ask about the badge. The registration for facilitator is saying that I've um, signed in before that I cannot register again no. and I'm trying. No, 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 Professor, this is not the platform for this. Just go to the affiliate link. I, if you are a training provider, are, are you a training provider? Facilitator. Please talk to your training provider. Go on, stop there. Okay. Take care of it. <laughs> All right, thank you, sir. Okay. Okay, ladies and gentlemen, uh, we've exhausted our time on this, so we have to move to Harvard. Uh, we'll move with speed so that we can um, leave here exactly by eight. So now uh, the next place we are going to is... Uh, Harvard. Okay, let me see if I can post this now. Then for you, those of you on uh, YouTube, one more time, let me repeat the link here for you so that I uh, have access to the Debbie University link. So you have access to it. Yeah. Okay. So you have the link with you to log on to Debbie University and do their program. So now we are going to move on to Harvard. Yes, there's um, edX, EDX, and uh, when you click on EDX, it brings you straight to their website. Please don't type, don't write, don't do anything, just watch. Just watch. Okay. Those of you that know about edX, fine. If you don't know about edX, this is an opportunity for you to understand that you can study online. In fact, you can do your degree and master's here. They're quite expensive anyway. Our concentration is going to be on uh, Harvard University. You have MIT, you have Berkeley, you have Boston University, you have Google, you have Cambridge. You can study with Cambridge. You can study with Columbia, Texas University, London School of Economics, and Political Science, Two Delft, AW, Tenghua University in China, the Queen's University of Australia, Georgetown, IBM, Georgia Tech, so on and so forth. Over 250 institutions are here. Unfortunately, we don't have a single one from Nigeria and uh, just about one from Africa, which is in South Africa also. Yeah, just, just one from Africa. So you can see what it means. So, but we are bringing this your way because you can do your master's, your bachelor's and executive certificates all here. But let's go and check uh, any health program with Harvard. Ones that are available. 
However, if you don't have any from Harvard, you can also um, consider doing with any other university here. They are all at your disposal. They are just there for you to choose whatever you want. So if you come to Harvard University, for instance, and we decide to look at their courses, so the courses in Harvard, please always take your time to read uh, messages here before the main program. As you can see, this is actually from Harvard University. So you should understand that you are in for serious business. So um, exercising leadership, blah, blah, and all that. So let's look for any health related course. Yeah, last time I checked, I saw something for children, cell biology and all that. Okay, I think uh, early childhood development. Yeah, this is particularly very, very highly recommended for our caregivers, mental health uh, counselors, and public health students, whether level two or level three, it's highly recommended for you to do. And let me click on this and go here. So uh, once you click on the course, you are expected to enroll. Yes, as you can see, about 56,000 people have enrolled for this program already, and it's $99, okay? You can actually take this course for free, but um, if you need to get a certificate that can be verified, you need to pay for it. So if you click on enroll, yes, there's one session available. So just click, I'd like to receive email, blah, 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 okay? Just click on enroll and um, to bring this page for you. When it brings out this page, you see any certificate access this course. Any certificate shows showcase a verified certificate of completion on your resume to, uh, to advance your career. Yes. However, you can also do this course and um, as an auditor, I don't need to get a certificate. So you can actually do it for free. But click on the, the free section and continue. Yeah, I, I've already registered. So if you click on enroll, it will ask you to register. You can use your Gmail. Click on your Gmail, sign in and register to study the course. Now, we are right in the course and we can start studying. As you can see, these are the topics and everything. But this is where matters to us right now. When you click on this course, I'm actually using my laptop. So I don't know how it looks like on phone, but you can search for it. Just understand that um, when you come to course tools, after enrolling and coming into the course, when you come to course tools, under course tools, you see bookmark, see financial assistance, update and launch tour. Click on financial assistance. Like I told you, this course is $99. But edX now offers financial assistance for learners who want to earn verified certificates, but who may not be able to pay the verified certificate fee. Eligible learners may receive up to 90% of the verified certificate fee for a course. So when you have 90% discount, it means you'll be having close to $9 only to pay. $9 is less than just about 7,000 or 8,000 there to get the certificate. So if you come down, you see apply. Please take your time to read all this so that you know how it applies to you. You click on apply for scholarship and they will tell you everything you need to know and how long it takes you. So these are my emails and all that. I'm not applying anyway. So. You come here, you choose the course. Yeah, okay. Yeah, you also have a course titled Introduction to Social Work. Yeah. And Introduction to Social Work, you can also do it. Then you choose um, your, what do you earn less than 5,000? I know most people earn less than 5,000, even far less than 5,000. So most likely that's what you choose. But 
this is where the issue where you need to watch out for. You see, they ask a question here. Tell us about your current financial situation. Under the first question, you have two questions. Question one A, tell us about your financial situation. So what is your financial situation? You don't, of course, you don't expect me to provide you with an answer. You should know your answer because you feel you cannot afford $99 and you must have reasons why you can't afford it. Second question is 1B, why do you need financial assistance? You've told them your financial situation. Now they want to know why you need financial assistance. Of course, your financial, you need financial assistance because of your financial situation, which you've told them already. Okay, second question says, tell us about your learning or professional goals. Question number two, A, about your learning or professional goals. What do you want to achieve with this certificate? What do you want to achieve with studying this course? What's your background? And all that. To be, how will a verified certificate in this course help you achieve this goal? Your goal is that you want to be a social worker. Your goal is that you want to, you want to, um, you want to become what you want to become with that certificate. Now, they said, how will this verified certificate help you to achieve your goal? It will help you to achieve your goal because it will give you knowledge, further knowledge in that course area. The certificate will boost your profile and your CV to be able to apply for further studies, for jobs in that area of um, work or whatever. I always advise one thing, don't always be in a rush to apply for things like this. It is better you always take your time to learn, read the materials, understand what they're asking for before you apply. Okay, and the third one says, as usual, 3A, tell us about your plans for this course. Yes, my plan for this course will be that I will get a generator, I will get a friend, go to a friend's house that has generator, and what period of time will be staying there so that I can have access to light, to internet, and all that. So what steps will you take to help you complete the coursework and a certificate? I will ensure that I pay the, the money, the scholarship money, I'll pay it on time, and I'll also make sure that I create a timetable that accommodates my studying this course so that I'll study it and finish it as at when due. You can add more to this. And also, please, I will stop this Zoom session, uh, this um, screen sharing, if people don't stop what is going on now. You don't need to type. And that means, Someone like this typing now, my hand up asking me questions of things I've talked about already. You don't need to type, you just need to listen. Don't forget that it's not recorded. Yeah. Always remember to tick this button when you finish and you click on submit. One more thing. You can see under each box where you are responding, you say use between 1,250 to 2,500 characters. So please take note of that. If you don't give them the enough characters, you might not be able to submit. And even when you submit, you might not get what you want, which is a scholarship. Yeah, thank you very much. So that is that for taking a course with Harvard. Like I said, you can actually take courses with other universities here on edX. Yes, you can take as many course you want to take with other universities and um, you'll be happy for it. So it must not be Harvard. Of course, I know everybody wants to do it with Harvard, but you can do it with Cambridge. You can do it um, a school in Alaska. You can do it with uh, so many schools everywhere. So you can do it with, um, let's say Cambridge, for instance, they have courses. You know, health, yeah, courses can reach. Oh, reach.
So under Cambridge, okay. Maybe our search was not too okay. So let's go to Cambridge. This is Cambridge University. You see all their courses, psychology of emotion. Introduction to cognitive psychology and neuropath neuropsychology. So you can actually come here and study. Take for instance, neuropsychology of decision making. Um, let's see how much it costs. Yeah, it's free. Yeah, uh, $149. If you enroll, for instance. Yeah, you go there. Yeah, you see, you can also apply for financial assistance. That is just it. So, um, ladies and gentlemen, I've done my part. I've kept to my promise. And you can see for yourself that, um, okay, let me get the link so that. Um, Okay, just a minute. So I'm going to send a link to the our YouTube viewers. Study with Harvard. Harvard and other universities. Okay. Okay. So that's a link to study with Harvard. I just posted it there now. Yeah, you can actually study with Harvard, those links. And um, for those of us on Zoom, I mean on WhatsApp, I want to repost the link. Okay. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, I want to believe I've done justice to this program. The ball is in your court. I will just take some few questions so that um, we can close this program and um, we'll send the link for the next program, starting by Eight. Okay, Dr. C.B. Peters, you have questions to ask, please. Just very brief. Um, I just, I want to appreciate everything you are giving us. I really thank God for it. Thank you. Only, yes, uh, what I just want to say, if there should be a, 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 a guideline, when you are, uh, you are giving us lecture, there should be no typing. If anybody violates it, maybe he's disqualified I, because it's disturbing what you are giving us and we are not getting it properly. So that's my, that's what I want us to, I don't know what you can do about that, sir. Thank you, we appreciate you. God Thank bless. you, Dr. Sibi Peters. You know, sometimes they say human beings are the most difficult to, to manage. Christian Enea, why are you posting a WhatsApp group link here? 
please, nobody should join any WhatsApp group link here, please. And we don't have any WhatsApp group we are posting here. If you do so, you are doing so at your own risk. Yes. Please do not join any WhatsApp group link that is posted here. You have been informed about that. You can't come to a program like this and start posting WhatsApp group link for what? Okay, I've shared the link for Harvard program. Okay, uh, Ijoma Obineche, Obineche. What's your question? I guess my hand was raised earlier, but I'm asking for the link for studying at Harvard. I didn't get it. Can you repost it, please? Say what? The link for studying at Harvard. I didn't get it. Can you please? Are you sure you're on this program? Because I am. I posted, I posted that link more than seven times right now on the chat. Anyway, it's a very short link. Yes. It's a very short link. If you are here, mm -hmm. you can see just about how many characters. You don't need much. www.edx.org. Okay. Okay. I have it. Okay. Fine. Thank you, sir. Okay. Please, the link for Cambridge, Oxford, all and all, they are all together. They are the same link. So yeah. when you click on the link, you will see several investors there. Raphael Ude, what's your question? Yeah, good evening, sir. Good evening. For the session today, I want to ask, um, I noticed on this uh, EDX platform, Yes. It was stated that some of the courses will have to pay to earn a certificate. Yeah. Uh, on the Debbie platform, we did not have something like that. Does it mean that the certificates from Debbie are all free? The ones from Debbie are totally free. The ones from edX, like I showed you, you apply for scholarship. From the one where we publicized this seminar, it was announced that way. The ones from Harvard, at Cambridge, you can apply for scholarship and they give you 90% discount. Okay. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Um, Clement, Abana. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Uh, please, my question is, uh, can one apply for two or more courses in a particular duration? Yes, you can apply for as many as you want. Okay. Sir. Yeah. Thank you. Sir. Thank, Thank you. you. Olu Oluwa Bumi Ibi Lola. I have no question. Question. I've gotten my answer from the other uh, questions. Thank you, sir. Yusuf Mohammed Ali. I have a question. Okay. And how can I learn or how can I study uh, the NGOs and certificate or a diploma, free diploma certificate in and public. How can I learn? I know that we are talking about the health, but I know you are very, and um, you are now some about the side of injuries. How can I get free and um, diploma certificate in injuries? Yeah, I cannot guarantee that you can get a free diploma certificate, but if you go to edX, which I've sent the link already. If you go to edX, you can um, just type uh, NGO courses and um, you'll be able to see some NGO courses and apply for scholarship to study them. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Maybe we'll just take some few more questions and that's all. Um, um, Omo Abinaga. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Please, 
I want to ask these certificate programs now. Can we use it to um, get a job that is for Jackpot's sake? Is it possible? Is it useful? I don't. I don't respond to questions like that. Okay. I mean, and it's not proper to come to the public and be asking me that because okay, it's okay. The meaning. Yes. And yeah, I'm to... telling you that you are getting a certificate from Harvard University. You're asking if you can use it to get a job. Please, uh, I think we should just think very well when we are asking questions. Thank you. Okay, one more. Okay, Moj Mojima Etukudo. Hi, this is your name. You have to pay me for pronouncing it. <laughs> uh, good evening. Good evening. I, in fact, the, the session today is impactful. Thank you. So I, want, I want to thank you for putting us through. Thank I want you. to ask, can La Place Metaverse yes. uh, bring up the Harvard training in her platform? Then we now pay the maybe the percentage scholarship to them as usual to ease our study? Well, you see, um, that might be a bit tricky because first of all, if we announce it, we can run it as a tutorial, but we can also run the risk of people going to tell Ava that we are collecting money from, from people. You know how this thing works. Nobody will say it's a tutorial. Then number two, you can pay for the tutorial. What if you are not giving the scholarship? you start asking us to refund your money. So that's why we try to keep away from a lot of things. We understand how things work in Nigeria and Africa generally. So we try to keep away from issues that will be a problem for us. So it's free. Just go there, apply. We've shown you already. And then um, along the line, if we have a way of communicating with each other, if it's possible, I don't think you even need. It's not necessary because I think it's very clear. Then we can one-on-one, -on -one, because, okay, let me say, okay, do it like this, do it like that, and that's all. I think you don't even need that because it's, it's like ABCD now. You can see it for yourself. Yeah. Okay. Thank you so much. Thank yeah. you very much. Yes. Let me just take one more question. Read me 9C. I know this is not your name, but uh, no problem. Read me 9C. You can mute yourself. Hello, sir. Yes. Yes, so please. I I want. Uh, I'm Doctor Gregory Wisdom. Okay. My my question is yeah. My question is, can we get the full package material for this program? Download it. The package is the, the the material, so that we read on our own to add more knowledge. You see, we are not doing a course right now. We are not doing a course. We are. This is a seminar. I'm just showing you. Here yeah, you can go and do courses for almost free. Like for Debbie, it is totally free. You're not paying a single penny. Then for edX, where you have Harvard, Cambridge, and other universities, you can get 90% scholarship to study any course there. So there's no material to give you. What I've just shown you is just availability of something. And I've given you the link where you can go and study those things. OK. Thank yeah. you, sir, about the, a, a, a quick one. Can we also okay. have? And we also have the link directly pasted on the WhatsApp platform where we are connected from here. I've now. done that already. And don't worry, okay, you'll, yeah. get, you'll get the link. Yes, don't worry. It's okay, sir. Yeah. Oh, one more. Okay, just two persons, one male, one female. Then we are over. Merci, Ubom. Good evening, sir. Good evening. Please, I'm so sorry. I, I joined very late. And I'm, oh. I'm afraid the video is not being recorded. So mm. please, I want to ask, because I feel I quickly have to go and check my public health. I cannot find the link. I don't know. Are they sending it individually? Or I was thinking they put it on the platform, public health. It's there already. It's there. What I'm seeing is a link for the Zoom. Okay, don't worry, maybe later I'll repost it there. Okay, sir. Yeah, okay. Yeah. Mohammed Usman.
Mohamed Yusman, are you there? Okay, let's move ahead. Chikuzo, Amma. Great, thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening, sir. So yeah. I see that we he talked extensively about um, um, health related courses. Can we apply for other courses that are not health related? Is it the same sure. procedure or sure? Like I, I I mentioned when we started this program that it was created for our healthcare students taking our level two, level three, mental health caregivers and public health courses. However, we just felt this is free, let's make it public and let other people benefit. Nevertheless, if you go to like edX, where you have to study with Harvard and other things, you can study any kind of course you want to study there, mathematics, physics, aeronautics, everything, they are all there. And yeah. most of this, you can get scholarship to study there, just the way I just told you, just follow the steps and that's all. Okay, great, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, um, I want to believe um, those on, uh, okay, no problem. Those on YouTube, I can see some questions. Thank you so much. Okay, Olua Kemi, Awoluyi. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, sir. I think we shared the link already. Just scroll back and you get the link for those of you on YouTube. Yeah. Okay. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. I think we've um, exhausted our time. We've uh, made some, a lot of progress for those of you that followed. Um, some other time we'll be bringing some exciting um, program for you to also go through. Uh, schooling abroad, schools you can uh, go to abroad almost for free, how uh, to apply for scholarship, how to get admission and get your visas. We'll be getting um, experts in these areas to come to talk to our students and where possible we'll make it public so that you can also benefit from it, just like we just did this. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, for the sake of uh, our students, We'll also be moving on to the next program, which is our CPR program. Yes, I want to believe uh, Mr. Avese is around. So our program on um, <clears throat> Harvard and Debbie has ended officially. We are moving to the next program, which we terminate by 9 p.m., which is our CPR program. And um, a talk on mental health from one of our facilitators. Thank you very much. So if you want to stay, fine. If you want to leave, feel free to leave. But if you want to join us and continue, that would be excellent. OK.
Okay, um, welcome to the second session of this program. We'll be inviting our guests, speaker, will be talking to us about um, CPR, basic life support. And um, it's one important thing you need to understand in the healthcare sector. Uh, this program is targeted at our students, but if you are here, you are very free to be part of it. Thank you. Please, I will advise that you, you bring down your hands if your hands are raised so that we know who to call up to answer, to ask, answer questions to or what. But if you raise your hands and you are not saying anything, it can be very confusing. Please lower your hands, just lower your hands. Okay. If you are on YouTube and you want to join with this program, on CPR administration, please don't raise your hands, please. Don't raise your hands again. CPR administration and um, meet an expert to learn how it's been done. You are welcome to be part of this program. Thank you. Okay, over to you, um, Mr. Vesey. You are welcome to this program, you can unmute yourself. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Yes, hope you can all hear me clearly. Yeah, loud and clear. Can I hear you? All right, you're welcome to uh, first aid and CPR, basic life support uh, training. I know it's something we have done. It's something you have seen people do and you have done it um, on field. So as we progress for these few uh, minutes we're going to spend together, you're going to learn from me and then I'll also learn from you. But before we start, I would like to ask, maybe uh, participants can use the chat box. When you hear the word uh, first aid, what comes to your mind? This is if, I, if you can allow me to share my screen so I can share this slide also. Hello, can you hear me? All right, so I was uh, asking, when you hear the word first aid, what comes to your mind? You can just, um, talk, okay, someone said, I think Ugo Chuku said, first aid is a treatment you give to sort of persons before going to the hospital, okay? Someone says, first aid is care given to a victim of an accident, whether domestic or otherwise. You are all correct. But there's always a question we ask people. When emergencies happen, what actions do people take? When you see an emergency, most times, once there's maybe a partial building collapse or an explosion or an accident, you see many people rushing in to assist. Some come in with the mindset to save lives. But the kind of assistance they give end up worsening the condition of the casualties. Some are the point of even killing them. We don't call such people first aiders. Why? Because they are like first responders. For you to be a first aider, you must be skilled in the assistance you are giving. So you must undergo a session just like this, or you must have attended a, a physical class and how to do hands-on practicals. So first aid is way beyond maybe seeing a broken bone and trying to replace, or seeing someone who has um, 
um, bleeding and then you trying to um, stop that bleeding. When an emergency happens, the right skilled assistance given is what is termed first aid. So first aid will be the first skilled initial assistance given to someone who is injured or someone who suddenly falls you without before that person is being rushed to the nearest medical facility. So it means first aid could be psychosocial support also. So if I have someone who lost a loved one, I'm there comforting that person. I'm also giving what we call psychosocial support first aid. So it could be the physical aspect and it could be you trying to pull someone from the sober state to a happier state. We have uh, basic aims why we give first aid. There are three basic aims why skilled first aiders give uh, uh, medical assistance or first aid to um, casualties on field. One is to preserve their life. Two is to limit their condition from getting worse. And then three is to promote recovery. So once I'm going in to save a life, I'm automatically doing this three things. So if someone maybe is having bleeding on this particular part of the palm, and maybe it's a major bleeding, you agree with me that when someone bleeds excessively, there's every tendency shock will be there. And then if nothing is done, the chances of that person's recovery would be very slim. And the person could even go unconscious if nothing is done and most likely die. But if you are a skilled force aider and you are there trying to uh, um, uh, pad, when we talk of major bleeding, we are telling you, the first assistance you do is get a pad and apply direct force pressure on that particular injured part and then elevate the part. When you elevate, you fight with less uh, blood. So when you do that, you have one, preserve that person's life from losing much blood, going unconscious and then dying. Two, you have limited his condition from getting worse. Instead of him bleeding to uh, uh, an unconscious state, you have rather stopped that bleeding from getting to that state. And then when you pad very well, clothing take place beneath your pad then that person's chances of uh, recovery becomes high. So when you are going into save life, your basic aim is to preserve your casualty's life, to limit his or her condition from getting worse, and to promote uh, recovery. We have six responsibilities of a first aider. There are basic responsibilities you as skilled first aiders are expected to keep. One is safety. Because I'm a first aider doesn't mean I'm immune to emergencies. If I don't take care of myself on an emergency scene, I might even become a casualty myself. Something happened uh, in Lagos, uh, that was 2020. Uh, a family of four died, what happened? The mom went into the kitchen, plugged a um, water heater, and then the little boy coming into the kitchen, not knowing what was there, went in and dipped his hand there, and then got electrocuted. And this mom came in, you saw this child that way, shaking that way, why not look for quickly look for the power switch and switch it off? She rather went touching the child and immediately got electrocuted also. The dad came that same way and the little boy rushing in to see what was happening also got electrocuted and they all died. The family of four lost their life that way. So in first aid, we always tell you, you need to be safe yourself before you can even save a life. So if the environment is not even safe for you, you have no business going in to save a life. The best thing you could do is you rather call for the the emergency uh, number, which in Nigeria will tell you you have to call 112. When you are in the uh, US, you call 911, and then UK called 999. Once there's an emergency, you have to call for help. Then next is your next responsibility is you assess the environment. In
Um, ladies and gentlemen, I, I want to um, say we are going to send another link for this Zoom session. I think um, we have some people that must have joined this Zoom for the wrong reasons. So we might not continue this Zoom. We'll send another link to complete this session any moment from now. So don't worry, wherever you got the link from, you're going to get the link again to join. Thank you.